Indirect measurement example A says that there's a tree outside Ellie's building that casts a 125-foot shadow. It says at the same time of day, Ellie casts a 5.5-foot shadow. If Ellie's shadow is 4 feet 10 in, I'm sorry, if Ellie is 4 feet 10 inches tall, then how tall is the tree? So what we have here is a comparison between Ellie's height, which is 4 foot 10, and Ellie's shadow length, which is 5 foot 5, and then the tree's height, which we don't know, and the tree's shadow length, which is 125 feet. And since Ellie and the tree both share the same base angle of a triangle and the same 90 degree angle between them and the ground, they both create similar triangles. So their sides will be in proportion. So if we go ahead and convert everything to inches so that we have all the same ratios here, we have 4 foot 8, which would be 58 inches, compares to five and a half feet, which would be 66 inches, in the same way that x inches compares to 1,500 inches. So what we need to do then is cross multiply, and we'll get 66x is equal to 58 times 1500, which is 58 times 1500, 87,000. So we say 66x is equal to 87,000. Divide both sides by 66. 87,000 divided by 66 is 1,318.2-ish. X is approximately equal to 1,318 inches. And if we want to figure out how many feet that is, we divide that by 12, and we get about 110 feet. So it tells us the tree is about 110 feet tall, approximately. Cool. All right, example B. Example B says Cameron is 5 feet tall and casts a 12-foot shadow, and at the same time of day, a nearby building casts a 78-foot shadow, we want to know how tall the building is. So this is, again, a very similar question. So we have Cameron's height, so we have 5 feet, and it compares to his shadow length, which is 12 feet, in the same proportion, or the same ratio, that the building, which has a 78-foot shadow, casted by some height we don't know yet, some number of feet. So we have the heights on top, and we have the shadow links on the bottom. And now we can cross multiply. 12 times x would be 12x. And 5 times 78, 5 times 78, 390. It's equal to 390. So then we just divide both sides by 12. Cancel here. 390 divided by 12 would be 32 and a half. So we get x equals 32.5 feet, which would be the height of the building. All right, example C. Example C, again, very similar. This one says the Empire State Building is 1,250 feet tall. So let's start a height column here. So we have 1,250 feet for the Empire State Building, and it says at 3 o'clock, Pablo stands next to the building, and he has an 8-foot shadow. So we've got a height and a shadow again. So then Pablo goes over here, and his shadow is 8 feet, and Pablo is 6 feet tall. And we want to know how long the Empire State Building's shadow is. So that's the missing length right here. So again, we'll cross multiply. 6 times x is 6x. 6x equals 1,250 times 8. 8 times, oops, 8 times 1250, 10,000. Oh, geez, I should have done that one. Getting lazy. 10,000. So then we divide both sides by 6. And 10,000 divided by 6 is going to be 1,666, 1,667. So x is 1,667. So if he's 6 foot tall and casts an 8 foot shadow, 
If the Empire State Building is 1,250 feet tall, it would cast a 1,667 foot, not f -f 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 <laughs> foot shadow. And there we go.